friends, Chubby Meeple here with another Kickstarter preview for you. Today we're going to take a look at Fry Thief. This is a little two-player game that plays in about 10 minutes from designer Patrick Rowland, published by Laidback Games. Let's jump to the table. I'll give you a really quick overview of how it plays, because it does play super quick, and then I'll let you know what I think. To set up for a game of Fry Thief, determine which player will be the fries player and which player will be the salad player. The fries player will take a plate and take all 12 of the french fries onto their plate. The salad player will not start with any fries because they've ordered a salad. Set the six ketchup tokens off to the side of the board. We will shuffle and place the deck of cards in the center of the table where they can be easily reached and we will deal three cards to each player. The salad player will take the first turn. On a player's turn, they simply draw a card from the deck and play a card from their hand, following the instructions on the card. You will find two types of cards in a game of Fry Thief. First are the red cards, which can be played by either player. These cards will tell you exactly when the card can be played and exactly what it does when you play it. Once you've activated the ability, the card is simply placed in a discard pile. The other type of, of cards you will see are cards that are split between yellow and green side. The yellow side is the side of the card that the fry player must play, and the salad player must always play the green side of these cards. When a player plays a card that says to steal fries, as this huge steal says to steal three fries, I'll simply play the card, steal that amount of fries from their opponent's plate, and place them on their own plate. Points are not scored though for fries on your plate. Points are only scored when a card such as Chow Down is played. This says to eat two fries and your opponent may eat one. When you eat fries, you simply take them off of your plate and place them to the side in a scoring pile. So Chow Down would let our fry player eat two fries, our salad player would get to eat one, and this card would get simply discarded. The game is going to continue in that manner, with the salad player going first, drawing a card, playing a card, then the fry player drawing a card and playing a card, until all fries have been eaten, at that point you will total up the number of points. Eaten fries score one point each. Fries that are dipped in ketchup, which there are cards that will direct you to do so, are worth an extra point, so those, those are worth two points apiece. And the winner is the player with the most points. If at the end of the game there is a tie, the salad player is the winner because they got free fries, and free food always tastes better than food you paid for. It is important to note that you always have a minimum hand size of two cards. So if at any time at the end of your turn, you have zero or one card in your hand, you will draw up to two. If at the end of your turn, you have more than four cards in your hand, you must discard down to four cards. If the draw deck ever runs out, simply reshuffle the discard pile and continue playing until all fries are eaten and a winner is determined. So that is Fry Thief, again by Patrick Rowland and Laidback Games. Super cute little two player game not rules heavy at all. This is not going to burn your brain in any way, shape, or form. Great little filler game for two players. Plays in about 10 minutes. You can shuffle the cards up and play again if you would like. Uh, it a very one of those games where you can play it. Uh, you know, I'm the fry player. I've played through. I won the game or I lost the game. We switch roles. We play it again, and then maybe we do a best of three. It's a really fun game. I would definitely recommend it, especially if you've got young kids you want to game with because it's a very you know it's a super light theme. Uh, everybody's had that uh, experience of going out and ordering something and your friend ordered something different and it gets to the table and you want what they've got. So it uh, definitely captures that feel. Um, I really like the artwork. It's it's does a great job of capturing the feel. I mean, it's, it's very lighthearted and fun. Uh, so I would definitely um, give it a plus for that. Uh, I had some concerns when I first played that it felt a little skewed toward uh, favoring the Fry player as the winner every game, um, but there have been some changes that have been made since this prototype version that I have uh, that really skew things back the way of the salad player and balance things out a little bit better, so I don't have any concerns there. So check out Fry Thief if this looks like something that you'd be interested in if you're looking for a quick you know, 10 minute game that you can play you know, while you're sitting at the restaurant waiting for your actual food to show up at the table. Uh, this might be a good one for you. It's on Kickstarter now. There'll be a link down to uh, in the description of this video. If you have any questions at all, definitely feel free to drop them uh, in the comments of this video. And until next time, keep gaming, friends.